Hi, this is Keith Strudler, director for the Marist College Center for Sports Communication, and we're here discussing our 2013 study on college sports done in conjunction with the Marist Poll. The question being discussed in this segment is, who should be held responsible when college athletes get in trouble? And we've seen a fair amount of that. You know, even as we've moved into the NCAA tournament, we've had some cases where athletes have been suspended, uh, unable to play in certain parts of the game. But who should really be in trouble when these, or who should be held liable or, or held responsible when the athletes get in trouble? And we gave the survey respondents for a national survey several choices. We said the athlete, the college president, college coaches, or others. So is it all the way at the top? Is it the coaches that oversee the program? Is it the athletes themselves, or is it someone we haven't thought of? Resoundingly, Survey participants said, it is the athlete. You are, there's self-determination here. You control your own destiny. 70% said it's that, it's the athlete's fault when they get in trouble. Only 12% said the trouble goes all the way up to the top, which potentially is why sometimes college presidents survive some of these scandals, and several have. Um, and college coaches, only 16%, you know, said that, that, that they're liable. 3% you know, attributed it to someone else. So essentially, the, the reality is most people said that when college athletes get in trouble, it's not the system, it's not the president, it's not the coach, it's the college athlete, which really kind of, uh, uh, kind of disavows this idea that college coaches somehow should have control over their programs. Essentially, most sports fans think that when an athlete goes to school, it's that person's responsibility to stay out of trouble. Now, if we break this down a little bit, and there, there weren't a whole lot of variations when we started to break this down of, amongst different groups. Essentially, most people really thought that the athletes were, were responsible and no one else was. We did find one small variation when we looked at college graduates, so people who had experience really being around college athletes and who've been there, versus uh, those who were not college, uh, not college graduates and were much less likely to have had that experience. Um, those who were not college gra graduates, excuse me, were less likely to attribute it to the, to the athlete, and were a lot more likely to say perhaps the college president might have been responsible. Those that were college graduates who were around athletes and so forth and around a college environment uh, were more likely, 75%, to say it is definitely the college athlete's fault, and they put no blame on the college president, only 5%. Um, perhaps this has something to do with college graduates, those that went to college, seeing college athletes, and perhaps whether it's bitterness, animosity, they had a personal experience potentially, they may have seen college athletes out, they felt uh, that them getting their scholarship was enough, they should work hard for it. There could be a lot of explanations, but certainly the proximity to college athletes didn't give them any greater empathy for when they might have gotten in trouble. In fact, it seemed to be exactly the opposite. The more time they seemed to have spent around college athletes, the less likely they were to be empathetic, it seems, about the, uh, the potential that they got in trouble. So uh, the story here, here is really uh, college presidents, college coaches seem to take very little blame for the, uh, the uh, misdeeds of their athletes, and the public really seems to blame the athletes themselves.